He was with us in May. He's back with us today. The shadow uh, Lord Chancellor, um, said he Khan, he's made lots of positive noises in support of legal aid. We praise and support him for that. But what we want is an unequivocal commitment to overturn any legal aid cut. Thank you very much, sir. It's my pleasure to be here again this morning. When you have blind ambition plus willful ignorance, you have Chris Grayling. He made history as being the first non lawyer to hold the great office of Lord Chancellor in 400 years. The office of Lord Chancellor has been going for a thousand years and he's made history as the most legally illiterate in a thousand years. Yeah. <laughs> Here is a man who thinks that Magna Carta is a bottle of champagne. <laughs> Here is a man who, unless he's frank, has been a mission of David Cameron and Nick Clegg over the last four years but to deny ordinary people access to justice. And there's a pattern of behaviour here, here. They're changing the way we do judicial review. they change no wig, no fee. They're attacking that human rights law and they're attacking legal aid. They want to take away the power of the individual to challenge power, to challenge the CPS, to challenge government ministers, to challenge the police, and we have to say no. We have to say no. We have to say no. So first they cut £350 million pounds from civil legal aid, a third of the civil legal aid budget, and now a quarter of the criminal budget. Will we let them get away with it? What about the Lawrence family? What about John Charles de Millet? What about Gary McKinnon? We let them win. I am with you and we will defeat them. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sadiq Khan. Um, I spoke earlier about building a coalition against, legal aid, against the legal aid cuts and we need people from all parties. We need Chris Grayling to be alienated within his own party and for him to realise that he doesn't represent ordinary decent people in this country with his cuts. Our next speaker.